Hi children, welcome back to our channel Rise and Shine and we are hearing the story of Raja Satya Harishchandra and his wife's name was Chandramati, their son was Lohidasa. So children, we knew that there was a discussion in heaven about Raja Satyaharis Chandra. Now we will see what was the discussion about. In those days, the gods, especially Lord Indra, Indra was the god who was the king of the gods. So, Indra was always afraid that any human being or Rakshasa might take away his throne by doing tapas, doing good deeds or doing, yes, great things that would give them great fame and name. So, Indra was always afraid and one day in his court, he asked the sages if anybody very good was seen or known on the earth. So, now the sages told that, yes, there was a king who was named Harishchandra, the king of Ayodhya, was known the best for his qualities. Now Indra was afraid that Harishchandra would take away his throne by his good qualities. So now he asked the sages to tell what were the qualities. So sage Vasishta told that he was a very good king he ruled his people very nicely. He never went away from the path of truth. He was a very good and noble king. Now, Vishwamitra did not agree to this. Vishwamitra spoke to sage Vasishta and told, You have no other work. He, How can you say that? According to situation, people may change. If situations are against them, they will definitely change. But Sage Vasishta told, this is not the person who would do as you like. He is Raja Harishchandra and he would never go away from the righteous path. So there was a discussion and Viswamitra grew angry and he said that he will test and prove Satya Haris, Raja Harishchandra to be wrong and that he would test him. He would test the Raja. Yes, and then my dear children, he wanted to come back to earth and put the Raja to test. So, both the sages wanted to Proved themselves right. Vasishta said he was right. Vishwamitra said he was right. And now you can see what happened. Sage Vishwamitra came down to earth to prove the king wrong. So now you can see Vishwamitra coming down to earth. So, after coming down to earth, Vishwamitra went and went to his hermitage and there he sat and, thank, uh, uh, he sat and thought about how to approach the king and how to talk to him and what to do to make the king come away from his righteous path. So, now... Let us see what happened, children. Now, one day, Vishwamitra heard that 
the raja was giving away gold to his people of the kingdom now sage vishwamitra also went there and the raja greeted him with kindness and he gave him all the respects he could give for a sage and asked him oh great sage what brought you here why did you come here what can i do for you and now sage vishwamitra asked the king to give him gold equivalent to so the sage was still talking the raja immediately thoughtlessly told okay okay sir okay rear maharishi you can take as much as gold from my treasury then now sage vishwamitra was taken aback by the answer of the king so he knew that he would give as much as gold he wanted so he told them okay my dear king i do not want the gold now but i will come for it later he said let it be in your treasury so saying the sage went away but again another day he came and asked the raja to marry his created daughters matanga kanyas so when the sage asked the king to marry matanga kanyas so matanga kanyas were created by vishwamitra and they were very beautiful ladies now the raja harishchandra told that he cannot marry any other girl because he was a ekapatni vrata he will never marry another lady in his life except his only wife so he refused to marry he refused to take the offer of sage vishwamitra so now the sage was angry and he told why don't you marry matanga kanyas then he explained everything he told him that i am an ekapatni vrata ekapatni vrata means i can marry only one lady for this life only one lady will be as my wife in this life i will not marry any more so that was the answer of the king and i will he also told i will lose the entire kingdom instead of marrying another woman now sage vishwamitra had a good chance he said okay then leave your kingdom to me and you leave the kingdom and now when raja harishchandra was about to leave the sage asked him to give the gold the stay sage asked him to give the gold he has asked for but now there was nothing with the king he had to give away his entire kingdom now after giving the entire kingdom how can he use the gold from his own treasury which was already given now the king asked the rishi permission of one month so that he would return back all the gold he wanted for and tomorrow's episode we will see how the king left the kingdom and went away so children today you have seen how vishwamitra started putting test to swami uh, raja harishchandra and so in tomorrow tomorrow's episode we will see that raja harishchandra along with his wife and son leaving the kingdom of ayodhya okay children we will see in next episode okay children bye